and welcome to HCS Connects. I'm Kelly Goral with Hampton City Schools. It's hard to believe we are almost ready for back to school. So in today's edition, we have a very special guest with us, Edwina Forrest, our Director of Nutrition Services for Hampton City Schools. So welcome. Thank you for having me. And I know I botched your actual title. So you are the Director of? Food and Nutrition Services. It's Food and Nutrition, because <laughs> nutrition is very important for yes, our students is. each and every day. So as we're getting ready to go back to school and parents are starting to look at our website and things that are coming out from the school division, what's very important from Food and Nutrition Services? Well, one of the things we want parents to know is that our menu will feature lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. We will offer whole grain items for our students, low fat milk and non fat milk, along with lean protein and lower fat and lower sodium items for our students. So is this um, just lunch? Like how many times a day do our students have the opportunity to eat? They can eat breakfast and lunch with us and those same nutrition standards that I mentioned will carry over for breakfast and is offered in our lunch program too. Excellent. So is that information on like the old school menus that you and I are both used to? No. So yes, the menus have been updated because we're focusing on a lot of whole grain options for our students and making sure that our students have plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables. And some of the spotlight items that we'll have this upcoming school year is that we'll do a meatless Monday option and some of the items that the students can select from are grilled cheese and tomato soup will feature a pasta bake, fettuccine alfredo, oh, and a morning star, um, um, morning star casserole. Also, we'll have a fresh garden salad that students can choose from each day, and we'll be highlighting locally grown fruits and vegetables, too, on our menu throughout the whole school year. Um, this year, too, we'll continue with having Domino's Smart, Smart Slice Pizza. We've heard about that. Yes, <laughs> and it has been a winner last year, and we're going to continue it um, this coming school year. And one of the things with this Domino's Smart Slice Pizza is that it has a whole grain crust. Say that fast. I know, exactly. Five times each. <laughs> and we heard about that, so that's it, it has a whole grain crust. Yes. yes. Um, one of our uh, student reps, Xavier Williams, gave a shout out uh, when that happened last spring oh. and how good that was um, and that the students really enjoyed that. So where can parents go to see what's on the menu each day? Um, they can go to Hampton City Schools website and then go to Food and Nutrition Services and they can find our prices there and our prices for uh, elementary lunch is a dollar and ninety five cents and for our middle and high school students they can enjoy a lunch for two dollars and fifteen cents and also for breakfast parents that qual their students qualify their children qualify for free or reduced price benefits their breakfast is at no charge and our full price students will pay a dollar for their breakfast. For their breakfast. Yes, and also on the website, if, when they go to visit, they can find out uh, information in regards to the menu. And then a few weeks, parents are gonna be eagerly looking for that information. So it will be posted at the end of this month and our menus are broken down by elementary, middle, and high school. And on the menus, they can see what the breakfast options are as well as the lunch options. Yes. Okay, yes. and tell uh, how, do parents apply um, if their student may or their child um, has the opportunity for that free breakfast or a reduced breakfast and lunch? Um, we will send home uh, meal applications. So each school year, a parent must complete a meal benefit application. And as I mentioned, it will be the mail will go, we will send them home next week, along with parents being able to access the meal benefit application on our website too. Um, it's important that parents know that they have to complete a meal benefit application every year. Um, carryover eligibility does not go from year to year. Um, we do, USDA does allow a 30 day carryover from the okay. previous that was school my next year. Question. Um, but parents still must complete a new meal benefit application each school year. Now, if a parent doesn't complete the meal benefit application, they will be responsible for their child's meals until one is completed. Okay, so that's going out soon. Yes. They have the opportunity to complete it online. Absolutely. Or to send it in. Correct. Do they return that back to their school, their home school? Do they return that to your department? Um, either one. If they bring it to their, if they send it home, bring it to school with their child, then the school will send it to our office 
or they can come to our office and turn it in. So either way, we will get the application. Excellent, and they have to do it every year, regardless if they had the opportunity last year. Um, and then you also said, you know, day one, we highly encourage yes. that paperwork to be completed before, before school, school starts, yes. um, just to make sure that we've got every, all those I's dotted and T's crossed and everything's ready to go for their child. But um, come day one, if it's not completed, there is a little bit of a grace period. It is, that 30 days they do have, but we do encourage, because there is online application, they could easily go online before they even get the application that we are mailing home. So complete it online and then they get a, they, we will send them their approval letter in the mail. Excellent, so different opportunities to get that completed. Yes. So there's a, something else though, a community eligibility plan. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, we have 14 schools that are on the community eligibility program and students that are enrolled in any of our, or these 14 schools, they will receive a free breakfast or and or a free lunch at no charge. Now that information, will that be mailed to the parents as well? Yes, we will be mailing that um, information out next week. So households that have students in these 14 schools will know ahead of time, so they will not have to complete an online application or a paper application. Okay, so they won't have to complete right. the application. That is correct. Now 14 schools, that's a lot to have to <laughs> memorize in, in your head. So where is that information? Is already on the website? They can look to see if they're one of their schools or will that be updated? It will be updated. It's not on there currently, but it will be updated if parents want to go to the website. Excellent. So there's different opportunities, the community eligibility, you've got um, the free and reduced lunch process. We know that we can go and look online for the upcoming menus yes. and there are different prices for lunch and for, for breakfast. For breakfast. Um, very reasonable. I need to start coming to school, <laughs> one of the schools nearby and, and purchasing my own lunch. Now for those parents, um, as I'm one of them, I've, I've got two children myself and trying to send in lunch money. Um, how can we make that easier for them? Well, we do have a way to make that easier for parents. We have My Payments Plus, and parents can go on to our website, and there is a link that will take them to the My Payments Plus website. And this is a payment system um, where parents can put money on their child's account to pay for meals and snacks, or if they just want to set up an account to view what their child is purchasing, they can do that. So it's free of charge to set up an account and to view their child's purchases, but if they want to put money on their account so their child can buy um, meals and snacks, they can do so, and there's a small fee that's assessed to that. So the, you said meals and snacks, do they have to set that up separately or is it just on one account and the, and the child can choose what they want as far as meal or snack? Um, the parents can determine that. Um, okay. We do, it is set up for one account, but if you, if you just want your child to buy meals, you would notify the manager and then we can put notes on this account um, from the manager's office and to let us know that your child would not be able to buy any of our snacks. They would just be able to buy meals. So I'm probably the mean mom. Yes, so you, if you I'm were, the mean mom who you. said, who said uh, you know, meals, because I know my one child would be snack, snack, snack. 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 Um, so yes, yeah, so that opportunity is available. Yes, it is. And once um, you, you can determine as a parent how much you want to put on the account, correct? Oh, absolutely, you can. So will that roll over? Or if, let's say, um, my child buys every day and it starts to decrease, does it replenish? Does it ask you to replenish? How does that work? Yes, if you set it up the account, you can get notifications to alert you that you do need to um, replenish the account. Um, so parents are aware that the account is getting low. But if you choose just to view your child's account without putting any money on it, then you wouldn't get those notifications. The notifications and low balance notifications would come if you apply money to the account. And that's right through the website as that, well. Absolutely. That they can go sign up. So yes. a lot of great information on the Hampton City Schools website. It is. Now, one last piece as we wrap up, even though I was joking about being the mean parent <laughs> and meals, not snacks, we do have smart snacks. Yes, we do. So why don't you tell us a little bit about smart snacks? All the snacks that we offer are are smart, USDA Smart Snack approved. And a smart snack means that it's either whole grain, that it is, um, it provides 10% of the daily value of calcium, fiber, potassium, or vitamin D, or the first ingredient is either fruit, vegetable, or dairy, or protein. So parents can go to the website to find what snacks are, quote, smart snack approved, <laughs> or if they question a snack that they have, there's a smart snack 
calculator that our parents can use to put that snack into the calculator to see if it's smart snack approved. So I need to be the cool mom and start approving. Yes, smart you snacks. can. Yes, gotcha. absolutely. Was there anything else that you feel that we didn't touch upon you'd like to share as this is our back to school edition and what parents are looking for? No, I just want to um, let parents know that our mission is to provide healthy, nutritious meals at affordable prices. And we strive every day to make sure that every child every day is afforded a nutritious meal, breakfast and lunch. Oh, well, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for asking me to come. Excellent. And thank you for joining us on HCS Connects. In the meantime, stay connected with us through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, our YouTube channel, or our PEG TV station. Thanks and have a great day.